And people usually do fishing in different ways here. We have ways whereby we do paddling by canoe, one person in the boat, and we'll go for a fishing for a day. No people made fishing net ladies. with their hands and they will troll and when throw the on the one, one person that is the canoe fishing and also they have a bigger ones whereby they will have a fishing boat with nets and the net is made by their hand and when they throw it inside the sea when they have their catch they will bring it in the evening around four or five later six for sale some people are marine boats and those marine boats are this wooden boat as well but they are bigger than the normal size boat and they go to the sea for a week or for days and they will sail from coastline to coastline so fishing is done here directly and indirectly sort of. so people who used to actively engage in this fishing is the fishermen but fishermen, many of them in the Gambian here come from Senegal because not so many Gambian people usually engage in fishing. But we have most of the youths nowadays are trying to participate in this because if fish is not available sometimes, the whole country feels it. But normally here, you don't see only Senegalese, you don't see only Gambians, you can see people from all part of West African countries or other countries from Africa that will come and help the fishermen. If they fish, they will carry their baskets. When the basket is full, then they will pay you fish. So the way you also gain money from that fish is to sell it to the local women. The local women who usually go to the market every day for their daily businesses because in Gambia here, as we saw in the market here, you see women that engage into gardening. You see some women engage into fish shelling, and this is what they do for their daily living. So they will always come here in the evening when the fishermen already finish fishing, and they will buy from them. And they will cool it. How would they cool it? Because they don't have electric system here. They will go to the ice plants, buy ice, and put it on the refrigerators that are not working anymore. They will break the ice on top of them, close it in the morning, they will take it to the market to shell. We have different ways of processing fish. There are fish that can be processed and will be preserved for like six months. That is the drying process, whereby they will put a lot of salt and they will dry it under the sun. When they dry it under the sun, it will be there for weeks or for even a month until it finally got dry, whereby there is no more water content inside the fish, then that can serve for like four months, three months, six months, or even more than that. But that type of fish is used as a source of magic. You know magic? Magic? Magic, magic. M-A-G-G-I, magic, -G 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 like cubic, taki. Yeah. No word. A, there is another Mara, type of magic? processing whereby they will burn it. When they burn it, they will burn it up to the extent whereby there is no more water content inside the fish. Then they will package them and send them to the other parts of Africa that doesn't have the Atlantic or that doesn't have the river. Yeah. The third way they used to process it is like I say, the cooling system. So now we will be going inside. And why, so that why for Gambia there is no income from that? The fishing and the fishing game. Like I said from the beginning, that most Gambians, of the fishermen no, that involved in the fishing, Gambia. Gambian themselves are not there. Okay. Most of them are foreign. Yeah, Gambia didn't get this. any, any, any taxes of we them. We usually have taxes from them, but that one is responsible by the fisheries department. Because all these fishermen here that has boat pay tax to the government. Each and every boat, being a small boat, being a big boat, you pay tax to fisheries. And the sales of the fish is not only thrown. We take it, pound it, dry it, pound it, use it for chicken feeding or making it as a fertilizer in the garden. But it's, the fish is, uh, you call it as a, the public, the public uh, food here or what? The what food? The public food for the Public country. food. Yes. Everybody it's, can eat fish. Yes. Everybody eat fish. Everybody eat fish. This is the first, the first kind of food. Yeah. The, 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 this is the famous the one. This is the most famous and the most easiest to afford and the cheapest and cheapest okay. even shrimps even shrimp even lobster anything 
Let's fish go is more, and see. Fish is more cheaper. And the way they used to dry this fish is by using the, how to call it, firewood. They will take firewood and they will burn it into a different, different, different fires. First fire, second fire, the third fire, already the fish is dry. So we will go in there. I don't know whether this time they are doing it because sometimes when it is raining season, it's hard to see the fish. Okay, that's good. Yeah, Ibrahim. Yeah. Yeah.